Righto, well, um, today I've got a little story to share with you. Would you like to hear a little story? Okay, lovely, we'll sit back. So this story is called The Big Bags of Money. Here is another story Jesus told. Once there was a man with money. Mounds of money, mountains of money. Money, money, money. More money than he could ever imagine. One day the man decided to take a long, long trip. So he called three of his servants together and told them what he wanted them to do with his money while he was gone. The first servant he was the hardest worker of them all. So the man said to him, here are five bags of my money. Use them wisely. We will see how well you've done when I return. The second servant was a hard worker too, so the man said to him, Here are two bags. Use them wisely. We will see how well you have done when I return. The third servant was not a hard worker at all. In fact, he was rather lazy, so the man gave him just one bag. Use it wisely, he said. We'll see how well you've done when I return. So the man with all the money went away. And after a long, 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 long time, he came back again. Tell me, he said to the first servant, how did you get on? What did you do with my money? He gave me five bags, said the first servant. I put them to work. I used them to do a lot of good things. And look, I've made five more bags of money. Ten bags all together. Well done. Done, said the man with the money. You've shown me that I can trust you. And now I have much bigger things for you to do. And what about you, said the man with the money. To the second servant. How did you get on? What did you do with the money? You gave me two bags of money. And look. I made two more bags just for you. Four bags all together, exclaimed the man with the money. Excellent job. And now I have a better job for you as well. Finally, the man with the money turned to the third servant. And how did you get on, he said. The third servant hummed and looked at his feet. Hmm. Uh, well, um, mm. well, sir, he said, I know how much you like your money and how disappointed you'd be if I lost it. So I dug a hole and I buried it in the ground. You gave me one bag of money. So here is your great big bag of money back. The man with the money was furious. Don't blame this on me, he shouted. I gave you the money to use, to put to work, so that you could make more. And you just couldn't be bothered. If you'd taken the time to stick it into the bank, it would have at least made a little interest. Get out of my sight, he said. You lazy man. You're fired. Oh, goodness me, it sounds like The Apprentice. He took the servant's bag of money and he gave it to the first servant. So off they went, the man with the money and his two hard-working servants, to bigger and better things. And the third servant, he walked sadly away 
in search of another drop. Well, the very rich man was very good at making money, wasn't he? And he taught his servants also how to make money. But the third servant didn't want to and he was very lazy. Have you got any talents that God has given you? Do you use them to help others? When I was a little girl, I used to sit down at the dinner table and I used to say, Mummy, I'm ready for my dinner. Why don't you help me? Well, I wasn't happy with that. I wanted my dinner right now. So I stormed out of the room. And the next day, I had a think. You know what? God has given me two hands and many gifts. And one of my gifts is cooking. Yes, Mummy, I'll help you to cook the dinner. And when I did that, God reminded me that by helping others and using our gifts was a really lovely thing to do. So what gift have you got that you can use this week to help someone in your family. Well, children, I've loved our story time today. And, um, well, I think it's just about time for me to go to sleep. Oh. So I'm going to just tuck myself in here. Oh, no.